Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ralph, and here I'm going to do a, a how-to video and some tips and tricks of working with decals and some of the challenges you may run into. And I've had a few going on with this thing here, but it's just a matter of uh, taking your time, being patient, and you know, sometimes just walking away and, and let things work. So um, this is one of those where that kind of happens. But for what I'm using here, this is a GT40 project that I'm working on here. And I'll get more into that. You haven't really seen this, um, but it's a project I've been kind of working on and off with. And for decals, I'm using these Starfighter decals here. Uh, it's a $12 set, but they give you the decals to do all four of these. I'm pretty sure you can do each one of these from this one set. So it's pretty much four cars worth which is kind of cool because there's not much to each one of them. Obviously, I'm doing this one, but uh, it's always good to kind of look over the decals and look for any instructions because every now and then, one of them will say that it's not compatible with setting solution, and you you may want to know that because um, you never really know how it's going to react. So, And this is one of those where that can kind of happen, but I'm not having any problem with this one. Most of the time, I don't. But I've learned to kind of check with that or, you know, if you're buying custom aftermarket decals, just, you know, asking or verifying that it's good with it because some react faster and slower than others. And this is no exception. But um, I'll put it to the page that I'm actually doing. And here's a bunch of the leftovers. You know, I got uh, some more stripes and some more letters. But there's only one particular car that I wanted to do. Um, but I could do one of the others if I need to because if the decals are in here or if I mess up because um, this blue number two car is another one that I was interested in doing. Um, but I have decals for that as well. But then again, $12, this isn't too bad at all for aftermarket decals. Anyway, so we'll uh, get kind of started here. First is referencing um, your material and exactly what you want to do. So getting them lined up or pretty pretty good idea of where they need to go. And you work on a certain area at a time. Now, I tend to work on, you know, if I work on the back, I'll work on that and um, I'll let it finish and dry completely and it's set and everything. Because I've had times in the past where I've learned where, you know, I finish one side and I'm in a hurry. So I'll finish one side and I'll start working on the other side. So I'll get this side all done, thinking I'm all set, and I'll look over there and my fingers moved the decals on this side, or uh, I tore them or something. I've had that happen. So I've, I've learned to just do a little bit here and there. Like I'm working on a side and I'm touching this front one, like even right now, I don't mean to, but if it's still wet and it hasn't completely set and it's wrinkling up, you can mess it up with your finger and not even realize it. So just be very cautious of where your hands are and what you're touching and what areas you've worked on. Now these I've kind of done, and you can see they've really stretched and contoured to those sides there. So I'm gonna do this on the other side, but this car, this uh, P for, um, is only on this one side and not on the other side. And that's part of the reference material of knowing what exactly to do. So. When it comes to this side, I need to do the same thing. So first thing to do is there's my water. Let that soak. Um, doesn't take much. Some let go faster than others. Um, you never really know. Sometimes they'll jump off the paper. Sometimes they really need to soak and take some time. I got some paper towel just in case I need to wipe up any spills or any extra. A Q-tip to help push it down. Uh, toothpick sometimes to push in the creases or move it a little bit. Uh, really don't plan on using this, but you know, always got to have that available. Um, actually, I do have a spot where I'm going to use this. And then, uh, you know, my brush. And for me, I have a specific brush that I use for Microsol. I don't know why the one of these red brushes that came in a kit that came with paint. I turn it into, I only use it for the setting solution, and that way there is no paint contaminants in it. I couldn't tell you why or when I did that, but I started doing that. So this, we'll see if it moves. Yep, it's already loose. Okay. 
Now, the fun part, I'll get a little bit, well, yeah, let's get it wet first. And we'll get that laid on here. And then get it lined up pretty much where it needs to go. Now in this particular car, they're really far forward. Most GT40s, they seem to be like in the middle of the door, but this particular car, they seem to be really high and really towards the front. So I'll compare it to how I did that side and where it is according to the hinge. So it's really close to the hinge. So we'll move this one pretty darn close. And then I gotta make sure that one is facing upright. So there we go. That looks about right. But you can see a little bit of wrinkling and contour trying to get it to fit. Okay. Now it's probably gonna move some more. All right, so let's get some setting solution. Get that started. And put it right on top. Sometimes you'll need to get it underneath. Some will go through. This one seems to be fairly good about it. So we'll get a pretty decent coating. Again, depends on your decals. I will say that these ones seem to be fairly strong, but they do set. You'll see some wrinkling starting here, but take your time, be willing to let it set aside and do its thing. Okay. So I need it to go up just a little bit. Let's get it up. There we go. And some will grab pretty good. So, okay. And I'll use the bristles sometimes to push them into these cracks and crevices and follow the line. This one's following the door pretty good. And let the setting solution do its thing. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of wrinkling. It's starting to wrinkle up. Don't be afraid of that. It'll scare you. Oh, my one doesn't really seem like it's... There we go. Trying to make sure my one is straight, to my eye anyway. All right. Sometimes looking at a distance would make you tell a little bit more. I'm laying it flat too, but so while that's setting, this one with that peak in the middle, you see that peak? I had the decal laying on top of it, but it wouldn't stretch completely over that rise there. So you can see how it's got a rise. So it did crack and split and you can see red through it. Now I took some white gloss paint and dabbed those red areas and same thing with the black. Filled those in. Um, to fill it all in because this is going to get clear coated over there. And I got a small piece of red poking through and the black right there. So I'll touch that up with some black. So there will be maybe a minor touch up here or there. But hoping that your, your paint will line up. So we'll let that uh, still doing some setting. 
I'm just looking at the other side here. So we'll give that some time. Let that rest a little bit. And there'll be a few time lapses in this video because of it. So we'll uh, do that here and continue on. All right, it's sat some time. So let's see how the wrinkling is going. There's a little bit still. So we'll push it down. And still squeeze some of it out with this. But it's getting in there. Still moving around in the middle there, so. We'll let that set some more, but it's following the door and everything pretty nicely. Still need it to go into that seam a little bit more. But I'm just pushing it. I don't want to drag it too much. If I go, I just brush it lightly and I'm trying to get like maybe a bubble or two out of it and get it to lay a little smoother. But some of the wrinkling will still be there. But that's where it'll mess with you, the wrinkling. It'll take its time, let it do it, and it will uh, settle down there. Some decals are better than others when it comes to that. You never really know so you get a feel for doing a couple of them when it comes to the decals. So let's uh, move on to this piece. And then I'll also explain why I've got the quarter. And I thought it was kind of funny. I noticed nice vintage 1965 quarter. Just perfect for this car. But it was just the one I grabbed. But I've got a reason for that. All right, let's see how this is. Is that loose yet? Yep, that's ready. All right. Slide that on there. And then I'll use my toothpick to move it around, place it where I want to place it. That's where it gets a little tricky and not really sure when I'm looking at this material, you can see where it is right there. It's definitely not in the same spot as this side. Of course, it's got that big decal and it's in the way and it's moved forward, but you know, race cars are not always asymmetrical. So it has to do with a lot of your uh, reference material and how picky you want to be. Most people aren't going to notice or, you know, the subject aren't really going to know anyway. Um, just be an interesting conversation piece. If you're showing it off, mine rarely get out of the house. If it wasn't for these videos, you probably, most people would probably wouldn't see them. So let's see, let's move it up just a little bit. Let's see, how does that look to me? Let's see. A little too high and a little too forward, so I think I'll move it more down. Right there. Dabbing out my finger, and you know, a lot of the wrinkling is starting to disappear. But still right here in this jam, so. Okay, let's put some setting solution on that and do a little bit more on the crease here. I 
All right, let's. And then when you're putting this back on, sometimes it'll start to wrinkle up again. When that happens, sometimes just don't panic, let it soften it and let it uh, set itself. So, and then I'll use the bristles to try and push it in here. But yeah, you can see the wrinkling. Hopefully you can see it, but it's wrinkling up again. Get it right into the camera so you can see it. But I'm just gonna let it, don't panic. Just kind of let it let it do its thing, and we'll move on to my next thing. Now, sometimes when you have a stripe like this, in some of the decals they want you to put it underneath it, but sometimes you get white on white. You'll see them; it'll double up, and you'll see them. So that's why I have the quarter. What I'll do is I will. Use the quarter to help cut it. So this decal is not going under or over. It's going right up to it. And so I cut it into two pieces and use the quarter to get it to follow the, the round all, which I believe is what those are called. So while that's setting, I'll take a piece of this, get it kind of where it is, but I'll make sure I got extra so I can fold it and roll it get an idea about where I want that. So push that down and then cut it with my X-Acto knife. Make two passes so it comes completely off. So there we go. And obviously that's not for that side, but this I will cut in the other direction. But this one, I'm gonna Line it up, see how close I am. Sometimes close, sometimes not very close. But that's why I'm being a little bit extra. So, okay. So maybe a little bit more. So I'll move the quarter up just a little bit higher. Give me a little bit more of a shake. So I'll hold it down again. Let's just cut it again. And that time it just pulled it right off, right off from under, but it did cut it. But it's following more the way I want it to follow. It's okay. So that's that. So we'll trim a little bit that tore away. It's okay. So now I got that section. Let's see. What do I think? I think that's going to work beautifully. All right, so that's that. Now we do the same to this side. Usually I'm doing this a lot closer to my face. And I know it's kind of a distance shot, but it gives you an idea of what I'm doing. Let's hold that and hold the decal so it doesn't twist. And cut. Second cut. Okay. There we go. Whoops, got plenty of extra though. Can't believe I did that in front of you, but that's okay, it happens. All right, here we go.
think that was a flat part of my table. That wasn't one of my better cuts. All right, let's try this again. Of course, probably better if I was left-handed on this particular section. There we go. Nicer, but need a little bit more of it. So let's hold that down. Hold that down. Okay. Good thing I've got all this extra here because I'm not getting it at the angle I want. And sometimes just keep keep trying. There we go. Got it that time. All right. Let's uh get one going and see what happens. Get that out of the way so I don't stab myself. Yep, it's moving. While it's wet, I'll show you. You can see when you double up the stripe, how it doubles. So, so there we go. There we go. Sometimes you look right down, make sure it's straight. All right. When flipping it over, I don't really worry about exactly what angle it goes. You can see it'll turn or follow the wheel well and go out at a different angle. But when you're doing that, sometimes it will pull it and it'll dip down. Sometimes the decal is compensated for it. You ever see them where they kick up at a different angle? That's where it's meant to fold. Some are better than others at that. All right, so let's uh, get this one soaking. That a second. And let's uh, iron out the wrinkles, push it down into these, into the door jam there. 
you can see a lot of the wrinkles are now gone. Just let it do it. So, so when we're just being patient, letting it do its thing, and you'll be okay. But I'll tell you, one of the first times I watched it wrinkle, yeah, I panicked. Let's see, is this ready? Yep. All right, now. See all that time cutting it, finally got the angle that looked right to me. Look at that. And then when you look down the door, there you go. So taking your time, being patient. There she is. right back to where I want her. All right, let's see, still straight. Liking the way that's lining up. Boy, it's con contour is following the door and the jam. Okay. A little bit more on this here, just to try and get it down a little more. It's pretty much there. I'll just get a little bit more in there. I like how that's come out. So there you go. Hope that uh, you know showed you a few things or gave you an idea of what uh, can happen or what to deal with if you haven't done this before with setting solution or some of the aftermarket decals and uh, that's gonna sit and let it iron itself out so pretty much done at this point with this one so we'll stop this video here so you guys uh thank you for tuning in subscribing and all your comments and everything i really do appreciate it you guys and you have a wonderful weekend and i will see you next time